Hi there everyone. Welcome to Fingers Fums and Fits, and in today's episode of Titty Piddle I shall be painting man at arms from Masters of the Universe Battleground. Can I keep the paint inside the lines? Let's find out. So let's start with the base coat, which in this case was administered in grey. Next came Auric Flesh for the base of his green body suit. And then Cadian Flesh Tone for his exposed skin, although there's not a lot of that. Next up, his armor and mace, and I painted that in Averland Sunset. Now it's starting to come together. His belt, wristband and helmet were painted with rust gray. And to round off the base colors, I painted his furs and magnificent mustache with Doombull Brown. I was originally intending to paint his boots a different color, but these got the Doombull Brown treatment as well, as I decided last minute on a different idea for those. Now onto some shading, and to begin with, I used Gilliman flesh on his exposed skin. I then used some Nuln oil to shade his belt, wristband and helmet, before applying two coats of veal tan green to his green body suit, as I wanted a nice dark green recess shade. Reichland flesh shade was then applied to his furs and boots, and I gave the armor and mace a wash of beyond in yellow, to round off the shades. Now that we've shaded the model, onto some highlights. Starting with re-layering Cadian flesh tone over the skin. I then layered warpstone glow onto his bodysuit, to give it a bit of extra vibrancy. His belt, wristband and helmet were highlighted with rust gray. Before I highlighted his bodysuit with a 1 to 1 mix of warpstone glow, and administered in gray. We all knew it was coming, it's not a titty piddle video without good old XV88, which was used here to highlight his furs and boots, as well as paint the straps on his boots too. Those boot straps were then washed with seraphim sepia. Before getting a highlight of Xandri dust. Back to the armor, I re-layered the Averland Sunset, before giving it a highlight of Uriel Yellow. And finally, his belt, wristband and helmet got a few spot highlights of Administratum Grey. And so, after painting the base in a similar manner to He-Man's, I think we can call this one done. So, what do we think? Did I manage to keep the paint inside the lines? Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again for the next one. Have a great day everyone and I'll see you later. I'd also like to give a quick shout out to my friends at the Nerd Hut in Ipswich. They have a great range of all things nerdy and gaming, so if you ever happen to be in the area, do drop in and say hi, and see what they have available.